Hi, thanks for joining us today. My name is Bill Martin with Motorsports Stand here in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to take a look at one of the most versatile camping units we have on the market today. Um, a lot of times going up camping in our mountain country, not only do you have to worry about ground clearance as far as going through ruts and dips, occasional rocks in the road, uh, but also the length, getting us in and out of campsites, etc. The AR1 19RT delivers a great combination of stuff. Not only am I only 23 feet 6 from front to back, and I'm only 3,400 pounds, so I'm really half ton towable, and actually a mid sized SUV can tow this easy too. But not only can I sleep up to four people, but my versatility allows me uh, if I have a full-size ATV I've got a five and a half by six foot deck on here the trailer itself is only 85 inches wide uh, my normal trailer is eight feet wide this is just over seven so it gets me in and out of tight spots quicker as well as the extreme package ground clearance we'll go over a little bit later but these side rails they actually turn into ramps I can use both these I could drive my full-size quad up onto here if I don't have a quad I can also put two motorcycles on there I can put some of the kids bikes etc uh, full camping gear maybe my Dutch ovens my camp chefs etc that deck is valuable as far as storage goes I can call the wife on a Friday afternoon at three o'clock and say honey let's leave tonight and she says okay because you've been packed for a couple weeks so we're ready to go I just love the deck on the front you also notice the jacks come way down. I've got really good ground clearance. A lot of that is derived from having a big, solid, virtually a 12-inch I-beam frame here and then a 6-inch through the rest. But the extreme package on my Autumn Ridge. My normal travel trailer is going to probably give me about yay ground clearance here, whereas the extreme package, not only are, do I have strong, uh, you know, 4,500 pound axles, but my springs are on top of the leaf and I've got 15 inch tires with a normal travel trailer this size, going to be 13 or 14 inch. So this 15 inch gives me more clearance, also more rugged duty. I'm able to go off road and not really worry about puncture proof, et cetera, or whatnot, or having a flat tire. So I can go wherever I want to go. The other thing the Extreme Package does is it fully encloses the underbelly. That gives me a little bit better insulation, in other words, you know, from my furnace. When the furnace is running in there, I'm getting radiant heat from there. So my fresh gray and black tanks are going to stay a little bit warmer. Uh, a unit like this, we're going to use maybe more early season, certainly late season, come deer season, elk season, whatever, and we're up in the mountains. I can actually take this up there and I'm getting heat to my tanks. I can stay up there longer and warmer and be more comfortable. The other thing the Extreme Package gives me is also get a power awning. Uh, a lot of times they're manual, but full eight feet out. If I have inclement weather, I can set up my stove, kitchen, everything out here. I'd be ready to go in comfort and sit out here. If I'm going to be out there on a camp trip for a long period of time, and this does come with one propane tank, and it will come with dual batteries, so I'm good for probably three to four days. But I've also got solar ready here. If I plan on being up there maybe for the full hunt, seven to ten days, depending where I'm going, I can actually buy a portable solar panel, and we have some great ones in the parts store too. I just saw brand new light ones, They're just one handle step, a 100 watt solar panel. I can plug it into here, point it towards the sun, and I can fully charge my battery. So at three o'clock in the morning, I've always got power from my furnace, I've got lights, etc. The other thing this trailer has, it's got an LED light package, so very minimal power drain. Uh, when the lights are on, etc., I'm not draining my batteries down. This portable solar panel is really cool. I've got storage underneath here for some of my lawn chairs and Dutch ovens. It is a small unit. Another thing that StarCraft offers that the majority of manufacturers do note is I do have a two-year warranty. Uh, that covers my products on the unit. My appliances will revert to the manufacturer. Some of them will give me a two to three year warranty. And then the roof I have on here is a radius roof. It's not a flat roof. This is called the Magnum Trust System. Uh, this roof is capable of holding 4,500 pounds. It's fully walk on. Out of all the trailers I have in my lot, and I'm talking $100,000 units, this is the strongest roof made in the industry, bar none. Great for snow country, mountain country, and off-road use. As we go around the trailer too, we'll look at it from the inside too, but one thing about the 19RT, I do have a couch inside and I do have a queen size dinette that you know, I can sit four to six people around, but also converts to a huge bed. If I'm going to have another couple, or if I don't want to convert that bed up and down at night, I do have, I would call it kind of a hybrid. This actually folds down out of the unit, and these steel cables will support 1,150 pounds. I don't have to worry about setting up support bars, etc. I merely drop that, I go inside, set up the candy cane, and boom, I'm ready to go. I can sleep two full-size adults in the end of this unit and not have to make up the other. If I've got a couple buddies with me hunting, or perhaps another couple, or a couple of children, that front size queen will turn into a bed too. 
We'll take a look around the other unit. Once again, evident by the ground clearance we have. One real important thing about the ground clearance I'm bringing up is my holding tanks and my dump valves are way off the ground. They're not sitting six, seven inches off the ground. And this is where the trailers I go through dips, the back end will tend to hit. I've got an incredible ground clearance here. It is a mountain coach. If I do happen to go camping, of course, I'm going to have a 30 foot cord to plug in. Um, you know, obviously water fill, etc. Hot water heaters directly inside, push button, DSI, direct spark ignition. I don't like nothing in this on the outside. My fridge, my furnace, my hot water, everything lights from the inside of the coach. Once again, the deck, I do have diamond plate leading halfway up to the front. It's highly unlikely with the distance here that my tires are gonna throw rocks up on here, but if they do, I've got protection. Keep my investment looking good for many, many years to come. Let's step inside. The first thing you'll see as we tend to walk in, this is the fold down bed part. Plenty of room for two full adults, etc. Mattress comes with it, sleeping bags, etc. Plenty of room for it at all. But that just gives you an extra room in case you don't need it. A lot of your small trailers will not have one of the most important things in the industry, and that is a, a door with a full-size bathroom. It's not a wet bath, and by that I don't mean you have to sit in a potty and shower. This actually has a separate toilet and a separate tub. Convenience, comfort. This is the unit here I talked about. I do have a couch in case I have extra people in. This does convert into a queen size bed. I've got good ventilation front and side. The two side windows actually open and also the window above my couch does open. The furnace in here is centrally located. It's gonna push out the heat in a smooth, even place. My air conditioner, the nice thing about this, this is relatively a 9,000 BTU furnace versus a big 13.5 on top. That means I can bring today's little 2,000 watt Yamaha or 2,000 watt Honda, whatever your preference is. It's a generator that can run while we can have a conversation, not annoy us. But I don't need a big giant generator. A 2,000 watt gen will run the air conditioner in this unit and it will run your microwave. Not necessarily at the same time, but at separate times. So very good convenience too. So furnace, fridge, I've got my normal fridge. This is also... This fridge does operate three-way also, battery painter, electricity, and it's got a little freezer here too. Plenty of room for a week-long worth of camping. If you're bringing extra drinks, whatnot too, you'll probably still bring a cooler with you too. But I can sleep too. This does not convert into a bed, but a small child could sleep here. So it'll sleep four to five people very, very comfortable. Once again, half-ton towable. LED light package inside, microwave, two burner stove, enclosed and heated underbelly. Uh, I've got everything here at a great price and a great, great mountain coach. Please come down and take a look at all our products. Love to see you. Thank you.